in this video, you'll see how to get free topographic CAD files and use them on your designs. I'll break down the step-by-step -step process from getting the topography online, importing it on different CAD software, and showing how to edit it to get your desired result. These processes will save you time and money. You first go to cadmapper.com and sign up. I already have an account, so I only have to sign in. Next, focus on the left side and select your desired design program. In this case, let's choose AutoCAD. Next, let's pick an outline on the Road Geometry drop-down menu. The default width for highways, major and minor roads, and path seem reasonable, so let's leave them as they are. The same goes for these two. The next step is to put the address of your project's site. I have a particular project in mind, but for now, let's pick San Francisco as an example. You can manipulate this plane's perimeter to cover the area you want. You can get a free topographic CAD file for one square kilometer. A free one square kilometer is more than enough for many projects. In case you exceed, you'll see the amount you need to pay. When satisfied with the area coverage, click the create file. Now CAD Mapper is generating your 3D file. Wait for it. Wait for it. And cool. This is what it looks like. Click download to get it. You'll get a compressed file. Right click the file and choose extract here. Let's use AutoCAD to open the file. You'll see that it's in a DXF format when you open it. The file is currently a 3D mesh. Let's view it in 3D. Before saving this as an AutoCAD file, let's do a nice little finesse. Select the grid portion of the topography and type mesh smooth more and then enter. This method will make the grid lines level transition smoother. Now let's save this 3D file as an AutoCAD file. Let's open up Revit and choose the Residential Imperial as a template. Go to the Insert tab, choose Import CAD, and pick the AutoCAD file. Go to the Site panel and select Topo Surface. Pick the Create from the Import drop-down menu and click Choose Import Instance. On the window that popped up, click None and only consider the contours and press the green check. Let's hide the import file and take a look at the topography we just made. You can always unhide the imported file on a particular view. This method can be helpful when you want the building to show up in the background of your project. You might be wondering how we can make the roads show up. First, let's take a look at the project I made previously, where I represented the existing roads using Revit's sub-region option. You can apply the same method we used before. Select the imported file and then click Explode. This method will flatten the 3D mesh and we will trace the 2D version of the roads. Let's first change how the drawing is represented into 2D wireframe to see through the topography. Now the roads are visible, we can start tracing them. Select Site, Subregion, use the Pick Line option. Let's take this road as an example. Pick all the intersecting lines until you cover the entire outline of the road.
Next, let's change the drawing into realistic. The newly created road sub-region has the same material as the site. Pick the road and designate a new material on it. This is how the site looks after all the roads are made using the sub-region. I used this topography on a project I made earlier 